Hi, I'm Alex Morris. I'm Brielle Turton. My name is Pip Edwards. And welcome to Chefs in the Raw. The show where we bring together leading chefs and health professionals to share their passion for plant-based foods. Each episode, we'll show you how to prepare delicious and nutritious dishes from raw ingredients to finished meals. Mmm, that tastes amazing with some cashew cheese. This tastes sensational. Mm, it smells so good. Each episode, we bring you a different chef. And our nutritionists give you the lowdown on all the health benefits. It's packed with good quality fiber. It's an exciting new frontier of experimentation and discovery. The chefs the world over are turning heads and satisfying taste buds with delicious plant-based dishes. is this location. The Nielsen is situated on the beautiful harbourside beach of Shark Bay, only eight kilometres from Sydney CBD, home to sandstone boulders and pristine blue water. This is the perfect spot for an afternoon dip. outside the Nielsen restaurant. The Nielsen was originally part of the renowned Grey Cliff Estate. So let's go check it out. The Nielsen was renovated into a kiosk in 1914 and only this year turned into a restaurant. Now, if you're looking for a lunch offer as the weather heats up, the Nielsen has a fantastic deal. During Monday to Friday, you can order from the a la carte menu, a main, a side, and a glass of wine, all for just $39 a person. What is up, everyone, and welcome to Chefs in the Raw. Today, we're here at the beautiful Nielsen restaurant in Vaucluse, and we're talking to head chef, Jeff Sue about his modern Australian menu and some of his great plant-based dishes. So let's go and check it out. Jeff, my man. Hey Alex, how are you? What's going on? All good? Not much. Not good bad. to see you, bro. Good to see you. Are yeah, you cooking something for us today? I am. I'm cooking our um, uh, roasted cabbage. That's on our current menu at the moment. Well, let's have a look at it. I'll stand over here. I'll let you cook. Tell us about the dish. Uh, so we've got a cabbage that's just roasted. We roasted the whole, and then um, a couple of hours, and then we cut it up, and we finish it in the oven, and then add a few garnishes to it. Amazing. Yep. And it's a fully plant-based dish. It is a fully plant-based dish. And it's on your current menu. It is on our current menu. What a great option to have. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so you got a whole bunch of ingredients down here. Uh, take us through everything. Okay, so we've got some uh, cannellini beans. Okay. Some Dutch cream potatoes. We've got a herb crumb. That looks uh, great. So what kind of herbs are in there? So there's parsley, dill, oh, just whatever herbs we have in the um, in the fridge. Mm. Just oh, it's awesome. With some herbs and yep. toast them off. Uh, tarragon, a few veggies for, for the cannellini beans and some baby spinach. Amazing. All right, so what's the first step of making this dish? So the first step would be to put the cabbage in the oven because it takes quite a few hours. It takes yeah. about three hours to roast. We slowly roast it so it evenly cooks. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Because, you know, when I was a kid, the last thing you want to eat is cabbage, but you're exactly. making something really tasty out of a cabbage. So it's quite sweet by the end of the, um, the roasting process, so it's quite nice. Awesome. Well, that sounds great. Do we need to get it in the oven now? Yeah, why not? So what do we do? So we're just pouring some water into the tray just to give it some steam to, to help the cabbage cook. Yeah. And I'll put some salt in there as well just to give it some flavour. So I'm just going to cover the cabbage with a bit of foil just to protect it from the heat from just over burning. Yeah, that's it. sure. And that's it? That's it. Nice. And we'll just put it in the oven. Let's do it. All right, I'll open that up for you. Thank you. Just goes in the oven. That's it, done. Easy, what's next? So we're just gonna prepare all the garnishes. Let's do it. All right, diced cream potatoes. Yep. What are we gonna do with these? So we're just gonna cook these in some water yep. until they're soft, and then we're gonna blend them up later. So what's that for? That's for the potato vinaigrette. Potato vinaigrette sounds awesome. Okay, yep. well let's do it. Just gonna add some salt to the, to the water just to season the potatoes while they cook. 
Beautiful. Can't wait to try it. Okay, what's next? What's next is the tarragon puree. Let's do that. Sweet. All right, tarragon puree. Sounds awesome. Give me a job, man. What can I do for you? So I'll get you to pick the tarragon for me. Oh. Tarragon's great. So how would you describe the flavour of tarragon? Oh, it's probably an aniseed kind of herb. Yeah, it's great because I know a lot of people wouldn't use tarragon that much at home. So uh, why do you think it's so good with the cabbage? Uh, it's quite a strong, distinct flavour. Okay. Um, so yeah, it doesn't need to. You don't need to add anything to enhance its flavour. It's just yeah, it's a good herb. I would agree. It's a very good herb. <laughs> So Jeff's still cooking in the kitchen, but uh, he's making sure I'm still working away. He thinks he's the boss, but uh, I run this ship. How long are we cooking that for? 10 seconds. That's it? Okay. Nice and quick. We must be nearly there. Let's That's do it. it. And then just straight into ice water. And why into the ice water? So that will stop it from cooking? Yep. Instantly, pretty much. So I'll give it that vibrant green color. Oh, great. Yeah. So it's not going to go soggy no. and dark. No. It'll uh, be nice and Stay green nice and on green. the plate. That's awesome. It. I've got some dried cannellini beans here. and I'm just going to soak them in some water for about an hour. So I've soaked the beans yep. and I'm just going to put them straight into the pot now. Awesome. I'm just going to cook all the ingredients down until the beans are tender. So. This must be a pretty popular dish. It sounds great. It is. It's, um, it's quite popular. People are quite surprised that it is plant-based. Yeah. And yeah. So do you cook much of it? Do you serve a lot of it? We serve quite a few. Um, we've actually got a plant-based wedding this Friday. A uh, whole plant-based wedding. Yes. Uh, they're having a banquet style menu and they're all sharing plant-based dishes. Amazing. So yeah. they got this. What else have they got? Uh, we're doing cauliflower, yeah. pasta, risotto and this dish as well. Awesome. So, you know, I think a lot of people when they think of plant-based cooking, they think of carrot sticks and salad, but you're doing pasta and risotto. You're making it really indulgent. We are. We're upping it a bit. Take it to that fine dining level almost. Yeah, correct. It can be done. It Glad can be done. Awesome. So those beans are done. I'm just going to take them off the heat and cool them down and blend them. Just going to squeeze out the excess water from yep. the tarragon. Okay. Place it into the blender, and then we're going to add some spinach to it. Okay. Spinach will make it even more green. Yeah. And nice. it won't change the flavour of the tarragon. Yeah, right. And then a bit of olive oil. A bit of olive oil. Got some on me. All right, sweet. And then that's it. That's it. Lid on. And we Let's do it. Blend it. Wow, that is very green. It is. Look at that. So the potatoes are done. We're just going to blend them up now. Awesome. Let's do it. Amazing. Okay, so we're just going to add some of the white balsamic condiment. And some extra virgin olive oil. So that's done. Yep. Stop that. Oh, it smells amazing. So how much longer is this cabbage going to take? It's going to take a lot of time. So now that the cabbage is done, I'm just going to cut it up into wedges. So I've cut them into wedges, and yep. now we're just going to put some oil, some seasoning, and we're just going to grill it up. Put it on the grill, and the grilling it will give it like a smoky kind of flavour, change the flavour of the cabbage as well. It already smells really good, you get that barbecue vibe. Yeah. I never thought cabbage could smell this good. Yeah. So we put the, um, the cabbage on. Yeah. And then we are going to put the potato vinaigrette. Yes. That. And that smells awesome. A lot of vinegar in that. There is. To... There's a nice sweetness as well. Yeah, awesome. And then we're going to put the bean puree. Okay. A few dots of that. Yep. Looks very pretty already. It does. 
And we'll just put some cannellini beans on top. Wow. And then we're going to put the tarragon puree. Wow. That looks great. And finish it with some herb crumbs. Oh, yum. That's it. That looks great. Let's go and eat it. Let's do it. Hey, dude. Hi, guys. Yum, that looks amazing. What is it? So, grilled cabbage, yep. potato vinaigrette, cannellini beans, and tarragon puree. Yum, that tarragon's got a beautiful colour, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Well, can I dig, can in, I dig in? Yeah. Perfect. I'm just going to go straight for it. Okay. I want to see what you, what you say first. Okay. Yum, I love cabbage. I, I roast it all the time, but never in this much detail. Yum, that's awesome. Might have a crack too. I might take a bigger piece than the burrito. The tarragon has such a good flavour. Mm. Man. Yeah, it's rock and yeah, roll. Yeah, very good job, Jeff. Thanks thank you. Guys. I love it, man. Yeah, thank you so much, Yum. Jeff. I guess we'll finish this off then. I guess we'll Let's have do to. It. Help yourself, Bri. I know you love it. Well, that wraps it up for today's episode, and I hope it's inspired you to give something similar a try. You can find all the recipes from today's show on our website at chefsintheraw.com.au. Oh. Oh. And we look forward to your company next time. Bye for now and stay healthy.